Hey guys, I'm Chris from Ping Long Footage here. Gonna be doing a quick review on the Yasaka Musashi um, Japanese pen hold ping pong panel. So first off, take a look at the packaging. Um, this is what it comes in. This uh, exact same case. Uh, the rubber you see here, I got added from AmericanTableTennis.com. So if you just order the paddle, it's not gonna come with the rubber. It's just the blade. So that's pretty much the packaging. You can see you get some statistics over here. Table tennis racket. Nothing, uh, nothing too special, but it is um, very nice packaging. I was impressed when I saw this. Uh, I'm gonna open it up and take a look at the paddle itself. So here's the paddle. Your, when you, if you order a paddle, it's not gonna come with edge tape or the rubber. So just ignore that. It's just gonna be the blade. Um, that being said, the blade is very good. Definitely worth the price it is. It, um, it's actually pretty heavy compared to one of my older paddles. It is very nice though. You can see it has some, you know, side cutouts for comfortable grips right there too. So when you hold it, it's, ve it's very comfortable in your hand. There's cork, I think it's cork. If it's not cork, it's something like cork. The cork extends all the way over here and it goes up there. It feels very nice, feels very sturdy. And the cork is also up to here. It doesn't go past if you don't know what Japanese pedal paddle is like. The cork ends here and then the part where the rubber and the sponge go on, um, it attaches to this part of the wood that you see here. Um, this part, this ply is Hinoki wood. It's single ply. It's a single ply paddle and only has um, one ply of Hinoki, which makes it a, uh, it's very good. I find this paddle very nice to use. I played a couple games with it and I was very happy with the performance. I would definitely recommend this paddle to anyone who um, is, is, that uses Japanese pen holds. I wouldn't recommend buying it as a first time paddle just because Japanese pen hold is not too widely used and you're not, you're not sure if you're gonna like it because using it like a regular shake hand grip is pretty stupid. But it is a very nice pedal for Japanese pen holds. Um, I find that I can get top spin shots very easily on it. So um, in this review, I'm also gonna be reviewing the Hurricane 3 Neo, which is what's on it. So the Hurricane 3 Neo, it's, it's very good. Uh, I think it's used by Malin, not too sure. But even if it's not, it's still a great rubber. It's good for offensive people. That's what it says in the description of it. The Neo version is like an upgraded version of the previous Hurricane 3, which is already good. So I haven't had too much time to use it, but I feel it performed well. One of my friends, um, you know, Alan from Ping Pong Footage, he he has a Hurricane 3 on his older paddle, and it, it performed very well, I can tell. Um, the sponge, is high quality too. They don't cut any corners on that. It it performs the ball very well. And American Table Tennis, they glued everything up and applied edge tape for free, uh, everything for free. So that's very nice of them. If you want to do that, go to americantabletennis.com and check them out. They have a really wide selection on paddles and blades and everything. Um, on the back of the paddle, I forgot to mention this, on the back of the Yasaka Musashi, right here on the grip. It says Yasaka, and on the side, I think that says Musashi, not too sure. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. J-T-T-A-A. -A. Um, that's pretty much it about the paddle. Um, there's your review, guys. Definitely go get it if you're interested. And see you guys later. Thanks.